welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. This is Justin. Quiet. And yeah, Monty. Tonight we're taking a look at the Cinco Vegas Limitada Tint. Uh, it's a beautiful cigar. It comes in these glass tubes, so looks really has a nice presentation to it. Uh, it's coming in with a very dark brown, almost I don't want to say black, but just a very dark chocolate brown wrapper. Kind of a firm pack for me. So I had one of these before and had the same firm pack, and the draw was fine. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I got one prominent vein, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, seams are done very well, but they are visible. Uh, but overall, it just looks like a nice constructed cigar. The aroma of the cigar, I'm a little congested, but I get a lot of rich tobacco. And uh, maybe a, a bit of chocolate, like a sweet chocolate coming off of it. It's very, very nice. And then off the foot, about the same, but to me, it's more prominent off the wrapper than off the foot. And usually it's opposite for me, so. What? Yeah, I agree. This is a beautiful looking stick. I'm also a little bit congested, but uh, you know, it has some very, very prominent smells. There's a really nice, rich tobacco um, coming off the wrapper, and that, that's really all I get. It's just very, very rich and deep. Uh, but on the foot, I get sort of a, sort of like a dry chocolate, almost like a baker's chocolate. Maybe, maybe some cedar, um, some like dry earth or something like that. It's really really nice but the cigar itself yeah it came in this cool glass tube and had everything from the little cork and it's just a cool presentation so I'm looking forward to lighting it up. Yeah I agree it is a really pretty cigar that kind of that medium to dark brown wrapper is really pretty with the um, nice white and uh, silver chrome looking band it really does make for a nice presentation I think it would look great even without that tube um, you know some people really like the tubes uh, I think they're a danger. I think you can just drop them from about two feet and they'll shatter real easy all over your kitchen floor. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, again, my cigar, just like both the other guys, it's real nice. Some very well done seams, no stretches, maybe one vein, um, but a real smooth, oily looking, pretty cigar. <coughs> Has a nice sheen to it. Off the wrapper, it's just a, a mild sweet tobacco, nothing real prominent, nothing real earthy or deep about it, but. Man, that foot smells amazing. There's some chocolate to it. There's also some really like bright, vibrant floral notes to it that really kind of, you know, perk up your olfactory senses. But it just smells wonderful to me. So I, I hope that's a sign of good things to come. Uh, you know, Justin mentioned his was at a, a firm pack, and mine pretty much does too. There's, there's a couple of spots that border on just being hard, but I, I don't know that uh, that'll really be an issue. We'll see. Well, let's get it cut up a little See how it goes. Relatively smooth, especially even on the retro head. And it doesn't get, it's not very harsh at all. It's a little, probably, a, you know, it's packing a, I don't want to say a lot of, it, it has a lot of flavor, but I want to say more of a medium body. It's not really in your face for me right here off the bottom, off the, right off the bat, but very, very smooth. A lot of natural tobacco flavor. No, I'm not getting any chocolate. No. Uh, maybe a little bit of spice now on the finish coming in on the back of the tongue. Not a bad start. I expected a little more, but it's, it's, to me, it's real. It's, it has that tiny little bit of spice on the finish, but there's a lot of creaminess to it. A lot of good thick smoke. Um, definitely very nice. There's a little bit of a tangy sweetness to me. It's kind of fleeting, but you, are you guys getting there? No, not really. I mean, no. in, in addition to everything else, but. 
Maybe. It's uh. I'm not, but I don't know. It, it, I agree that smoke is very, very thin. Yeah. Very creamy. Yeah. Uh, I'm impressed with how smooth it is, even for the retro head. Definitely tastes like it's been aged or something. Or something. I mean, it, it's. it's yeah, I agree. That's then, a good point. Yeah, and Cinco Vegas, I don't think, has really got the high top shelf cigars, but I think this is one of their higher end ones. It's very, very good. It's leaps and bounds better than, than most of the stuff. But I, and not that their stuff is bad, it's just, this is really, really good. Yeah, it definitely would have better starts than what they've been. Yeah. Let's get, uh, let's get into the first third and see how it develops. Well, welcome back. We're a little over 10 minutes into this cigar. I apologize. We were watching TV, so we got a little bit. Uh, behind on ourselves, but uh, really, to me, it's been a really good smoke. Um, medium in body, maybe maybe a mild, but I would say medium because that spice for me is built up. It sits on the back of my tongue for a, quite a while in that finish, and it's relatively long. Uh, but the front flavors are still a lot of like uh, a lot of tobacco, rich tobacco. That sweet note that Ma <laughs> excuse me, Wyatt mentioned is playing a little bit of a role. It's come in in a few uh, puffs and it'll go away. So it is fleeting, but it is there. Uh, but a nice predominant cedar is also set in. And uh, overall, it's a very nice cigar. It's not overwhelming. It's not in your face. But it's a very nice smoke. Yeah, I, I agree. I gotta applaud the construction on this cigar. This ash kind of looks like hell, but it's holding on really, really well. Uh, it's kind of flaky and, and uh, uh, burn hasn't been great, but man it's holding on um, but uh, yeah and as for flavor I don't know I, I'm getting kind of a uh, roasted almond almost on, on the finish but but that's that's really it the the, the flavors are, are really there for a minute and then they kind of go into the finish and then they're just kind of going it and I think that's that's my biggest problem with the cigars that the, it's not uh, as powerful as, as I thought it would be um, but again, I am a little bit congested, congested so give me, give me the benefit of, benefit of the doubt on that one. But otherwise, it's a, it's a really good cigar so far. Pretty uh, smooth and, and mellow, and so it's good. I think Wyatt does have a good point. I don't think it's just his being congested. I think those flavors that you get, or that I'm getting, are there for just a second, and then the finish is just short and over. Um, uh, as far as construction, yeah, it has a nice firm match. Uh, mine, the burn got off, got off kilter immediately. I touched it up, and here we back are back another five or ten minutes later, and it's just all crazy. So I'm gonna touch it up again. Hopefully, it'll kind of correct itself. But as far as what I'm getting off of it, Justin talked about there is that cedar there. I get that, but I don't get much else. I get some nice moderate medium cedar that goes away super fast on the finish. Other than that, it's just a, a, a nice tobacco and not much else really so far. Well, uh, let's get into the second third and we'll approach the midpoint. See if we get any changes. Welcome back, we're about halfway on the Cinco Vegas Limitada 10. Um, really no updates for me. Uh, still kind of keeping par for the course, no flavor changes. Still kind of medium in body. Um, I don't have the perfect burn, I've been having some issues just like Monty, but other than that, there's really nothing to update you on. Uh, just kind of keeping far for the course. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it hasn't changed much. Construction is still very good. I, I gotta say, um, but the, the finish hasn't gotten much longer for me. That's chumper, not my stomach. Um, but the the I, I'm still getting like a roasted almond flavor. I, I, that's the only thing that I can that I can really uh, attribute. Um, it might be like a little bit of when we smoked that dirty rat, there was sort of that leathery, almost sort of taste. Uh, or, or not that, that dirty rat. What was the other one we smoked? The T-52, is that it? The one you really liked or the one you didn't like? The one that we really liked. That was the Liga Provada number nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not comparing this cigar to that, but it, it has kind of the same uh, attributable flavor. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's a little bit of almost a leather in there. It's, it's good flavors. They just don't last very long. Uh, and your mind kind of wanders away. Uh, it's it's not a very strong cigar, so um, it, it's good overall. But I, I really hope something kind of picks up or changes in the second half. 
Yeah, I agree. It's kind of status quo. Um, I talked about burn getting off. I touched it up. The burn getting off. I touched it up. And the burn got off and I touched it up again. Um, so it's kind of become an issue. It, it, you know, and nothing's really changed. Again, it's, it's a really nice cigar. I just don't understand why it, it can't burn any better than this. Um, as far as what I'm getting off, it's still a relatively short finish, but still just lots of cedar and, and just general tobacco. Um, lots of good thick creamy smoke, but uh, it's just not quite what I was hoping for. But we'll see. Well, let's get into the final third. See if it changes. Well, welcome back. We're at the final third of this. Cinco Vegas Limitada Tim. And, you know, I uh, I'd had one of these cigars previously, and I really, and, you know, I remember really liking it. But now that I've sat down and analyzed the cigar and really thought about it, this cigar falls short for me. It was very one-dimensional, uh, didn't have a lot of uh, in-your-face flavors. Just, for me, it was a little bit of spice on the finish. That finish was longer for me than uh, Monty or Wyatt. Uh, I had some cedar with it and a lot of rich tobacco. Smoke was thick and creamy, but for me it was the same thing from start to finish. And this was a relatively bigger cigar than six inches by 52. Um, I re really was hoping for some changes. When I really thought about it, I wanted to see some dimension, and I never had that. I think it's a good cigar. I don't think it's a great cigar. Um, Cinco Vegas, Five Vegas, Vegas, or however you say it. Their line for me is always they're good cigars, but they're not great cigars. And for their Limitada that comes out once a year. This falls short for me. I think uh, I think it's fine for an everyday smoke, maybe an afternoon. We're smoking at the end of the day, and it just doesn't really satisfy me. I'm wanting something else. I'm wanting something a little more uh, complex, a little more uh, depth to it. If I was going to rate it, I would give it a six. Uh, it smokes. It, it's not horrible. It's not unpleasant. It just falls a little short for me. I had a little bit higher expectations. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh... It was it was good. It was just really one note. I, I I got that roasted almond type of flavor, but that 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 didn't last very long. The finish went clean pretty fast, and uh, uh, that was pretty much it. The construction was very good, but you know I don't know. Uh, the presentation of this cigar was great, but uh, it it didn't really match. The presentation didn't really match the the, the flavor. Uh, I. I I'd go a little bit higher. I'd, I'd give it a six and a half. I'd, I'd say this would be a good cigar for, you know, if you got like a party you're going to go to or, or something like that. Or, uh, it, it's it's better than like a task cigar, but at the same time, it's not an end of your day type of cigar. So like an afternoon stick, I could agree with that. An after lunch type of cigar, um, something that there requires a bit of your attention, but you can also multitask. Uh, so yeah, so solid six and a half. Uh, I don't have too many complaints, but I just wish it was a little more, there's a little more bang for your buck anyway. Yeah, I, overall I agree. And I was thinking about the Cinco Vegas line of cigars as a whole. They, they always strike me as, generally they look pretty cool. They, you know, the cigars look good, they have nice bands generally. You know, the boxes are neat, you know, but they're never that good. They're, some of them are okay, a lot of them are frankly bad in my opinion. And I, I really didn't care much for this cigar. And what was odd, the, the further I smoked it, the more harsh it got. But it was still, it got harsh, but then it was over. It was still that short finish. You know, and usually when a cigar gets that harsh, it kind of lingers. And, and it, it never did. It was a consistent short finish, it, and, it, and it got harsh. And again, I think it, it, it's cool packaging. It's cool band. It looks like a really good cigar. But I, I really didn't care for it much at all. Um, so for that... I'd give it a five and a half. I just didn't like it. Well, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. But until next time, smoke with the gather.